High yield savings accounts are a popular option for people looking to earn higher interest on their savings versus a traditional savings account. Currently, the APY rate on most high yield savings accounts is greater than 3%, whereas the APY rate on some brick and mortar banks is as low as 0.01 to 0.05%. Here's the difference in interest after one year if you contribute $10,000. In this video, we'll cover some of the best savings accounts available to help you decide which one to sign up for. Before checking out the list, remember to not just chase the highest APY rate as these will fluctuate with the economy. One thing to note is that all of these options are trusted and FDIC insured. First up, we have Marcus by Goldman Sachs. Its APY is currently 3.75%. I also have a link in the description with a referral bonus where you can get an extra 1% for your first three months of the account. So this means right now you'd be able to get 4.75% APY. Some good things about Marcus are that there are no maintenance fees, no minimum deposit required. There's also 24 seven customer service and you're able to add beneficiaries to your account. Another plus of this account is that you can do same day transfers up to $100,000. For any funds coming into your account, they start earning interest the day that the transfer is initiated. Also the Marcus mobile app is extremely intuitive when you open the app, you're met with an inspirational quote, and it's really easy to see your funds and see how your money grows over time. Really, the only kind about Marcus is that there's no checking account option at this moment. There's really just that savings account where your money will be stored. Next, we have the Wealthfront cash account. The APY is currently 4.05%. One thing to note is that Wealthfront is not a bank. It's instead an automated investment platform that partners with banks to offer its savings account option. Now, this is still a very trustworthy source. Your money is FDIC insured up to $2 million. Some other highlights of the Wealthfront account are that there are unlimited fee-free transfers and no minimum balance required. You will, however, have to deposit $1 to start receiving interest on your account. Another great piece about this Wealthfront account is the ability to have a checking account along with your savings account. Some features of this checking account include being able to get an early direct deposit on your paycheck up to two days. You can also request a free debit card to access your money within any of the 19,000 plus ATMs across stores like CVS, Target, and Walgreens. One con about the Wealthfront account though is that the customer service is not 24 seven. Most of the time with savings accounts, you really don't have to reach out to customer service too much anyways, but it's just something to keep in mind. Next up, we have the American Express savings account. The APY is currently 3.5%. This account has no minimum, no monthly fee, and offers 24 seven customer service support. If you're already an Amex credit card holder, opening up the savings account can be a really good idea because you're able to connect both your credit card and your savings account all within one app on your phone. This is just a great way to keep all of your finances together so you don't have confusion across a bunch of different apps. Since you can link your Amex cards with the savings account, if needed, you can transfer money from your savings account to pay off your credit card bills. Now this can also be seen as a con because some people don't like to mix their assets with their liabilities. Next on our list, we have Discover. The APY is currently 3.5%. Once again, there's no minimum deposit or maintenance fees and also 24 seven customer service. Discover stands out from the other options though because it currently offers a sign up bonus. This offer is available for first time customers only but essentially, once you sign up for your account, you can get a $150 to $200 cash bonus. This all depends on how much you deposit into your account within the first 30 days. If you deposit at least $15,000, but less than $25,000, you'll get a $150 cash bonus. On the other hand, if you deposit more than $25,000, you'll get $200 cash bonus. Similarly to the Amex bank account option, if you're used to using Discover credit cards, it can be great to add the savings account to your portfolio and have all of your finances linked together. Next, we have SoFi. SoFi's APY rate is currently 3.75%. One critical thing to note is that you only receive this APY percentage if you link your account to your employer's direct deposit. If you don't link your account to direct deposit, you only receive 1.2% APY. SoFi does this to try and entice you to keep them as the main bank you use, which from their perspective makes a lot of sense. SoFi currently also offers a signup bonus. Once you sign up for your account with direct deposit, you have 25 days of eligibility. You can either receive a cash bonus of $50 or $250. If you contribute $1,000 to $4,999 via direct deposit, you'll receive $50. Then if your direct deposits are greater than $5,000, 
you'll receive $250 cash bonus. One great thing about SoFi is the ability to access its vaults. This is basically just a system it has on its apps or on its web interface where you can highlight specific savings goals. You can see progress bars and how close you are to purchasing a home or saving up enough money for a vacation. Additionally, SoFi partnered with Allpoint, which is essentially just an ATM provider and allows you to access any of its 55,000 plus ATMs. Now let's look at Ally Bank. Its APY is currently 3.4%. Once again, no minimum deposit or maintenance fees and 24 seven customer support. Similar to the vault system by SoFi, Ally uses buckets where once again, you can organize your money and visualize what you're saving up for. Really the only complaint for Ally Bank is that its APY rates are generally not as high as competitors, but if you're not chasing that APY rate, then really this is an excellent option for opening your savings account. I hope this video helped you learn more about some of the best high yield savings accounts available. Before signing up for any of these accounts, make sure to do your own further research and think long term about your financial goals. Thanks for watching this video, and as always, look forward to more content coming soon.